Our vision was with the grapes that we have, the different varieties at different locations, different, different appellations, what could we do that a lot of other wineries can't do? Well, we can select those varieties from we think the best location, the best soil, the best clones, and bring them in just the very top percent to our winery. So this is our Cabernet, and it's coming across our sorting system. We look at every berry and uh, make sure that we're, we're getting everything out, out we want except just the pure fruit. Uh, we do all the processing of all of our wines, whether it's a Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, or Syrah. Everything comes across our sorting table. Uh, we have, a, as you can see, a very proactive wine club. Uh, we have a lot of events during the year where we, the wine club comes in and picks up their shipment of wine, and we always have a great party. And, and these folks, we got Sharon and Sean and Roger and Mark and Tony and Stacy, they're uh, up here helping out. It's all under the category, there's no such thing as a free lunch. I, mean, I like to call this place a wine studio because we're right on one of our largest vineyards, which is uh, right here in the heart of Alexander Valley. And it certainly feels like uh, a studio to me. And the inspiration that I get, both just the natural environment and then being here in the barrel room, the, the fermentation area, it all feels like we're crafting, we're all working and crafting, you know, wine that is art. I'd suggest to you that you'll be hard pressed to go anywhere and find a wine more balanced than their red wines are. The Trionis do a wonderful job of really operating the business from the ground up the way I would like to do if I were running uh, a business like this. Love the wine, love the area. Um, 1908 building, absolutely gorgeous, can't go wrong with that. And their new Zin, if it actually gets released to the public, it's going to be a good one. But unfortunately, 250 cases means it's not going to go far. So get on that Trioni now because it's going to be gone real soon. We thought, well, what if we built a winery, a very small winery, and took just a very small amount of what we grow, bring in what we think is the very best? Because as the technology in the wine industry is so shared, uh, the difference is the vineyards. Generally we crush approximately 100 tons of fruit every year and from multiple ranches on our own vineyards. Um, generally smaller lots, 5, 10, up to 15 tons of different varieties. I still have a grower's mentality. They taste great to me. I always want these things off yesterday it seems like. Because uh, this is this is where it is. We like to get these in. Uh, winemaker obviously doesn't think they're quite ready yet. They made me a consultant, and I said, "Well, thank you very much." I said, I appreciate that very much. How many free cases of wine do I get? And they said, none, you're gonna pay like the rest of us do. 